My job as a firefighter is to put the fire out. Do you think I can go inside the house wearing the clothes that I'm wearing right now? No, I have to wear special clothing, and this is the clothes that I wear. So the first thing I would do is take off my shoes, and then put on my bunker pants. pull them up and put these suspenders on my shoulders. The reason I put them on my shoulders is so when I walk, my pants don't fall down. And just like when you put on your clothes in the winter time to keep the cold weather out or the cold feeling on your body away from you, you have to zip up all your zippers and snap all your snaps. Now, when I put on the rest of my clothing, my goal is to cover up all my skin. So I'm gonna look a little bit different, but I'm still firefighter doorbell, okay? So I want you to watch me carefully and you tell me when I still have skin showing if I'm missing some of my equipment, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna put on is my bunker coat, along with my special hood. Now what this hood does, it protects my face, my hair, and my ears from the smoke and heat. Then I'll put on my coat. Can you still see skin? Probably on my hand and my face. But I'll zip all my zippers up, remember? And snap all of my snaps, okay? <clears throat> but I'm still who? Oh. Firefighter doorbell. That's right. So, what I'm gonna go do now, I'm gonna give you a little exercise, but first I have to go get my air pack, okay? Let me think about this exercise and I'll be right back. We're gonna do a breathing exercise. Now, what I want you to do is breathe in, and breathe out, okay? Take a deep breath in and out. One more time, in and out. All right, now that was fresh air you were breathing, right? Well, when I go inside the smoke and the fire, I have to breathe fresh air too. That fresh air is inside of this tank, okay? It has the same air that we just breathed, okay? And I'm gonna turn it on for you. When I turn it on, you're gonna hear a sound. It's not gonna be loud, but I want you to understand it's gonna make a noise. So just prepare yourself. And what that means is now my air tank is on, okay? And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I have to make sure all my snaps are tight. All my straps are nice and snug. And just like in your car, you have a seat belt. You have to make sure you always fasten it and tighten it up around your waist. So now it's nice and snug. You see the air pack on my back? That's the air that I'm gonna breathe, okay? Now, can you still see some skin? Yes, still on my hands and my face. So what I'm gonna do now, put on my air mask. But I'm still who? Firefighter doorbell, right. Now that I have the mask on, my voice sounds a little different, doesn't it? Yes, it does, because I'm talking through this little hole. But I'm still firefighter doorbell. You can still see skin here, and you can see it on my hands. And then I put on my helmet. And then next I'll put on my glove. Now I have to make sure that I put my helmet on tight so when I bend over, it doesn't fall off of my head, okay? Now, no skin on my hands, but you can still see it through my mouth. Now, before I start breathing air, I want you to remember, 
that I'm Firefighter Dorvell and my voice is going to sound a little bit different. Remember that exercise we did? Yes, the breathing exercise. I'm going to breathe in and breathe out. But I'm going to be breathing through here and my voice is going to sound a little bit different. But I'm still Firefighter Dorvell. Can you see my eyes? Yes, I see yours too. Okay, remember, I'm going to start breathing the air through the tank. All right. Do I sound different? But I'm still Firefighter Dorvell. You breathe in, you breathe out. In, and out. Now, it's very important that you remember, when I put on this fire gear, is to protect me when I go inside. But I'm still your friend, Firefighter Dorvell. 